Delays to blockbusters like the new James Bond movie, No Time to Die, has forced Cineworld to close all its cinemas temporarily from today, leading to tens of thousands of job losses. But we've got live streaming in our homes. We can download films on demand. Are cinemas even worth saving? We asked people in Huddersfield what they thought. I'm just not sure it's good, it's good enough for people to go make that specific trip. Not when you can watch the latest films on Disney+, Plus, Netflix, Amazon Prime, in the comfort of your own home. No, no, the home experience is nowhere near the cinema experience. The cinema experience is excellent. We need as much socialising as we can get, and a cinema is a really good outlet. Well, joining us now is film and TV actor Robert Powell, who says he would rather watch a film in the comfort of his own home, and Game of Thrones act actress uh, Laura Pradelska, who believes there is a culture experience in going to the cinema. Thank you both very much for joining us uh, this morning. Robert, if we can start with you. Um, so you don't feel like the cinemas are worth saving? What about movie night, date night? <laughs> well, yeah, I'm, I'm no longer really involved in that, um, <laughs> <laughs> being of a certain age. Um, no, I don't think they are. And I think that cinemas have only got themselves to blame in many ways. I mean, I, it, it, it's no experience to go and sit while somebody is sitting next to you eating cheesy nachos. Um, th this idea of eating in cinemas uh, randomly and eating junk food as well, because it's not as if you're delicately eating a salad or anything like that. I think I mean, Robert, just, it's not a great experience. Robert, really. I mean, you, you clearly don't like the fact that they have opened up to a whole different sort of experience when you go to cinemas now. You can have a proper meal, you can have a burger in some restaurants, you can have drinks brought to your, to your seat pre the film starting. But I think the cinemas industry made about 1.25 billion profit last year. So clearly, as a industry, it's still mm. very, very viable. So to say no. it's not worth saving sounds a little extreme. No, it's, I'm not saying it's not worth saving. I think it just has to, it has to go with the times. I, don't, I think that the industry should change. I don't think that the big cinemas are going to survive. Um, uh, but but I, you could, there are lots of little cinemas now. Uh, the uh, screen on the hill, screen on the, on the green, where you can go and sit and you can have something to eat. Uh, there's the electric, I think, in Notting Hill. But, but they are, you choose to go there to have something to eat. The problem about going to the cinema, if you're going to the, you know, the view or one of the big ones, is you don't have any choice. If you don't want to eat nachos, somebody next to you will. Well, let's talk to Laura. Robert's obviously having some bad experiences at the cinema. Frankly, since social distancing was introduced uh, and a lot of cinemas have stopped you eating and drinking in the cinema, I think he would find it was a different experience. The trouble is, for a lot of cinema goers, there's no point in going right now as much as they love the experience because there's nothing to see. Now, a lot of cinemas were thinking, well, at least Bond is on the horizon, and then they pulled... Yeah. They pulled Bond. I mean, what on earth were well, the Sorry, movie companies yeah. thinking? Correct, I agree. But first of all, with regards to the food, I mean, at the moment, I don't think you have to worry about the nachos so much because you're wearing your face mask. I actually went to the cinema and we wore a face mask the entire time. So the nachos shouldn't be such an issue. Um, but I think there are films out there and I would be devastated if the experience of going to a film and... And for many, many people, it is the first date. And for a lot of other people also, there's a factor of loneliness. You know, I, um, for instance, love going to the cinema by myself. And especially as an actor where there are times, as you may know, that you don't work every day necessarily, it's wonderful to go and watch a movie during the afternoon. And it is also something something inclusive. Well, you know, it's, it's... You make an interesting yeah. point about um, jobs. You know, I mean, closing cinemas leads to thousands of job losses. We know that that's on the horizon. But also for actors, if, if cinemas close, does that have a knock-on effect on the kind of uh, films which are produced? If we're all going to be sitting at home watching reality shows and documentaries on, on Netflix, you know, might it have a longer-term impact on employment? Yeah, I really don't... I really don't think so, and I really would hope not. I mean, I think things are still being produced and great films are still being made and certain films are made to be watched in a movie theatre. And there is an experience you have when you go to the movie theatre and you buy that ticket and you make that transportation um, arrangement and you get there and you sit on the plush seats and you get ushered in and you watch something on the big screen that you could never have at home 
And I think movie makers know that. And I think one day when we do have our magic vaccine, that we will all go back to that normality, which probably is yeah. going to be a little bit different, wearing our masks, that we well, will enjoy going to... Robert, if we can come to you, I've, I've been lucky enough to go back to the cinema and one of the things I was most excited about when lockdown eased was the cinema's opening and I've been filming down in Bristol a lot at the moment and the Everyman Cinema is where we went with some of my friends and we were able to eat, we were able to drink there as well. We all had to wear face masks well, until you were eating and then we had to sit with our face masks and it was, it was a moment of normality even within the face masks having to wear. It was a moment of normality mm. within everything else that was going on that we all really, really appreciated. And it was a hugely valuable couple of hours that the three of us spent, and I went with my friends Phil and Joe, being able just to escape. That wonderful thing about sitting in a cinema is escaping into the film, which I'm not sure you get when you're at home in the same way. Mm. I think my, my argument has been that, that cinema now has become a, a, a series of... It, it's, it's CGI. The, the cinema is just about blockbusters, big movies, things that, technically speaking, you're quite right, it probably is not as good to sit at home and watch them. But, but home television has altered now. The, we've got uh, 4K, high-definition uh, flat screens. It, it, it is a different experience altogether. And television, and this is my big point, television can tell stories. It really can. It can take... I mean, let's take Game of Thrones. Uh, you couldn't have done that in the cinema. But that told a story over a whole long period of time. We have episodes of series that are 20 episodes long. Yeah. You can tell stories. Cinema can't, not in the same way. It can do other things, but not that anymore. Well, That's passed over to television. Yeah. Television has overtaken those, those cinema. Those two things have to be able to coexist, surely, at the same time. I mean, I, I would be devastated if we couldn't go to the cinema anymore. I, I think, Laura, the experience you yeah. describe is exactly what I experienced. I just, I just yeah. love it. It's a moment, it's a couple of hours of escapism. But the trouble yeah. is, it's been very hard to drag people back to cinemas. You know, the conditions you describe, Ben, about wearing a mask uh, for two and a half hours yeah. for a lot of people is too much. Yeah. Um, and the social distancing, there's no atmosphere and there's, and there's very little to watch, unfortunately, on screen. But, Laura, yeah. you think you've had COVID, yeah. don't you? I mean, how, I did, how did that affect you? Did it give you a different perspective? Um, it did give me a different perspective. I had it very early on. I had it in March. And um, I, we didn't know at the time because I didn't actually have temperature. So they gave me antibiotics because I thought I had bronchitis, so, which obviously we know now doesn't work. I lost my sense of smell, my sense of appetite. And I was, I was quite sick for about five weeks. And... Yeah, it affected me in, in a way that, that that definitely horrified and scared me. And also, you know, my parents are in a vulnerable situation. They both have, both have underlying conditions. And the first thing that 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 I was looking forward to once lockdown finished was, once lockdown ended here in London, was to A, see my family and B, be somewhere public, whether it's a cafe, a pub, a cinema, within the measures taken. And I think... Sitting at home watching Netflix is fantastic, but it's a very lonely experience at one point, yeah. you know, and you don't, I have no problem going to the cinema by myself. In fact, I love it. Yeah. I absolutely enjoy it. And I know so many other people do. And I think right now, especially for people that have been locked in for so, so long and elderly as well, it's just, it's, it's a little just bit of magic still, isn't it? Um, all right, yeah. Laura, lovely to see you. Thank you so much. And Robert, Thank you very much indeed. Lots of you getting in touch. The vast majority want cinema saving. Jody says, they're a national treasure, we need them. I also work there, it's my job. Uh, David <laughs> well, said, this is an interesting point. really right? do need it. Why then? can't the theatre impresarios work with the likes of Cineworld and stream the big shows such as pantomimes during the festive season? We know that pantomimes look like they're probably not going to happen. It's not the holy, holy grail, but it could save a number of jobs in both sectors. It seems like that's quite a nice They do do um, theatre productions, don't they? Opera yes. sometimes yeah. on at the cinema. I was wondering why there aren't more classic films being shown well, at the at cinema Charlotte to get well people back. Charlotte as well hosts the Andre well, exactly Rue concert it, yeah. in the theatres as well. So, um, thank you for getting in touch with all those things. I Are think it, gonna... it would be such a shame, you know, if we lost those. Going to, going oh, to the cool. cinema when we went to see Tenet was absolutely fantastic. Did you love Tenet? I mean, it was just properly bonkers. It was one of those it things you come out, bonkers. you turn around going, what on earth happened? It, but I didn't care. I just loved the You're experience. There, I loved there. being there. It just feels like it on. might change the sort of films are made if we don't Maybe. have cinemas, because it's the scale, isn't it, yeah. that you exactly. get That's what locations. I was... and.